All right, we have another in-state battle here uh, next up here in Ohio. Akron and Miami, Ohio. We've got the uh, Red Hawks, 17.5 point home favorites, 43 being the uh, total here uh, in this matchup. Um, man, I, I really thought with this uh, Akron team, you know what, I thought this team was going to be, you know, a whole lot uh, better uh, this year, no question about that. Um, but, you know, I, got, I bet over three and a half wins. And, you know, they've just, they haven't progressed as much as I thought. Now, here's the thing with Miami. Oh, oh, seven and two, obviously the much, much better team. One of the few teams in this conference that plays pretty good defense more often than not Miami, Ohio. So they're, they're, they're solid on that side of the ball. It's always been a thing with Chuck Martin uh, since he's been the head coach here to have solid defensive uh, efforts. I haven't been over overly impressed by the um, offense this year. You know, I thought for sure Brett Gabbert back in the full was the starting quarterback. They'd be able to really – uh, do better, although out for the season, which is a big blow, uh, suffered, of course, uh, in their last game uh, against uh, Toledo. Uh, that was before uh, the bye week. So now here we go with this uh, Miami O uh, offense here. Now back to Avion Smith, who's a very, very experienced quarterback. He started a bunch of games for Miami O the last couple of seasons. So, and it, like I said, Brett Gabbert was kind of, I thought, you know, him being back, look out, this is probably going to be his best year yet. And he's been, you know, sort of plotting, sort of, you know, you know, average. That's the way he was playing really uh, for Miami. So I don't think there's a huge, like I don't say a huge drop off from Miami O at quarterback with Avion Smith. You know, this is a guy that's played a lot. Uh, he knows the yeah. system well. Uh, they can probably put up points here. And it's not like Akron's defense is showing a lot of resistance right now. So this is one where it, it is a rivalry game. Akron at times when they've been getting double digits, they've managed to hang in there and hang in there. And I'll say this, they also have a quarterback uh, a backup, a number two on the depth chart quarterback starting for them now because DJ Irons is out for the season. It's Jeff Undercuffler, who we saw a little bit last year uh, at quarterback for uh, Akron, and uh, Undercuffler's taken over uh, at the uh, quarterback spot, and he's at least had a handful of starts. I thought he played well uh, against uh, Kent State uh, last week in the game, 23 of 39, 59%, took care of the ball, no interceptions, uh, two touchdowns, but now you're facing a whole different caliber of defense. Yeah. See how he fares here in this game. That's going to be tricky. I actually might bite on Akron. It's just a it's a big number. It's a rivalry game. 17's a lot for a Miami team that's usually just comfortable winning, not necessarily winning by margin. So slight lean Akron. Total wise, probably a lean under, but I don't. I think the number's in a pretty good place. Uh, what do you think here, Connor? Yeah, but I have Miami, Ohio defense should just shut them down here you know last week the first time they get to 30 points in that game with Kent State they hadn't scored more than 14 since September 23rd it's been you know it's been a while for Akron who's just looked awful I don't know I think they might get 14 here and the number is just right there I think this number it's like I think Akron could hang around a little bit Miami Ohio should win comfortably maybe two three touchdowns but yeah, this is not one that I just like want to rush and lay points with Miami, Ohio. And not that I'm looking for the points on the other side. So this is kind of just a stay off for me. Uh, Miami wins. It's just by how much. Yeah, that's probably the way that's pro probably the way it ends up going. Um, I, I don't know. I'm stubborn with Akron. I still think there's better in this team than they've shown at times. So I'm taking 17, I, but it's not anything yeah. significant. It's not like, whoa, we're, we're unloading the farm here on Akron. That's not the case. Not the case. I thought they could have done a little bit better, like especially compared to Kent State. It just it hasn't happened. It's going to take more time. And, you know, I don't trust on our Cuffler. <laughs> no, no, it's 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 not easy. Uh, you're right to uh, trust him. There's no question uh, about that. And for Miami, O oh, too, you know, there's still uh, reasons to really, you know, want to finish this season strong and play well because there is still them uh, seven and two atop the East Division right now uh, of the MAC. And I do have uh, Miami O oh, as a long, not a long shot, but they were a mid-range shot to win the MAC. So I'm cheering them on for sure uh, to at least win the East, be in the MAC championship. Game game against the West division winner. And right now Toledo looks like they're going to win the West going away. So it's really going to be Toledo against probably either Miami O or Ohio, uh, as far as the Mac championship game. So Miami still very much in the mix for that.